Virgos, welcome to Frankie's Tarot. I'll be doing your general love read from September 27th through October 3rd. Please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. Also, if you'd like a personal read, I um, provided the link to my website down below. Alrighty, universe, spirit. What clear messages do we have for my Virgos? September 27th through October 3rd. The dates are just intentions. It's whenever you hit play on this or whenever, you know, it can be any time this message gets to you. But I'm setting the intentions for September 27th through October 3rd. Universe, what clear messages do my Virgos need to know? What do they need to hear? Clear, clear, precise messages, please, regarding love. All righty, let's do this. All righty, some anxiety, some stress happening. But we have the little enlightened bird right here. Fro. So this tells me that you're at the end of it. It's just still the current energy for you. So some stress, some anxiety, but you see the light now. You're just about at the end. Okay, my friends. The current situation, 10 of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. All right. Your inner desire, the Six of Pentacles. This is all good. This is all great. Let's keep going. Past influence. Ace of Cups in reverse. That could be where that anxiety is coming from. Um, your the your thoughts regarding the situation is you felt abandoned, left out, jaded. You were attached to something that um, you weren't. They were not given back to you. They were not given back to you, which is why your desires is an equal balance, give and take in a relationship. Your future. Your I mean your immediate future. The Sun card. You could be connecting with a Leo. We're going to jump into all this, okay? And I'm going to clarify. A block could be a decision, okay? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. External factors. Somebody may or may not be working with you. Or you, or you could meet this person at work. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. All right. Your hopes and fears. Um, detachment. The devil in... Um, reverse is a release of something so that could be a hope that you have released something from the past the final outcome is four of wands my friend a celebration okay an event an event a milestone some sort of celebration all right we're going to take a dive into all these and we are going to clarify with my gilded tarot all right my friends so you have, you're having a little bit of anxiety over something right now, but we're, we're almost at the end of it. Your current situation is the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So this tells me that your mind is on family life, a good family life. You're ready for stability. You're ready to start this. You're in a place in your life where you are ready to start building the foundation for a future with the family, kids, and a, a very prosperous life. You desire this. You're, you've created this in your mind. You've manifested it. You've pictured it. And now you want to bring it to life. Now you want to bring it to life. You could be connecting with... Um, a Sag, uh, Sag Aries Leo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But to me, this is you. This is your current energy. You are desiring this. You want this. This is you right now. You're ready to begin your future. You're ready to begin your future. You are ready to let go of whatever is causing this stress for you. But you're almost there. You're at the very, very end and you're starting to see the light. Once that happens, you will be able to build a foundation for your future. Your inner desires is this six of pentacles, is an equal balance, equal give and take. You know, both people in a party are given, not just one, 
Both are given to this. You're desiring a relationship where you feel like it's 50-50. You feel like the person loves you just as much as you love them. You feel like they, they think about this future as much as you do. They want this future as much as you do. They put into this future. They put the energy into this future as much as you do. That is your desire. Past influences that may have brought you to this energy is a closed heart, burnt, lack of real love offers, or short term. You keep getting these cups of love offered to you, but they but they're empty. They're spilled, or they're starting to spill the second you get them. They're not stable, and they've left you with your heart a little closed off. They've left you feeling defeated almost. This is the current thoughts regarding the situation. This here is, is just showing me and it's reiterating that this is you. You have been connected or connecting to empty relationships. My friend, maybe you're looking in the wrong places or you're, you need to step back and ask yourself, what qualities am I looking for in a relationship and why am I always left feeling attached to someone who serves me nothing or gives me nothing in return or breaks my heart, leaves me feeling you know, jaded and betrayed? Why do you keep going back to these same empty cups? All it's doing is closing your heart. It's closing you down. But you're still, you're still here. You still long for this. And I don't see you giving up, my friend. I don't see you giving up. You long for this. The near future shows this. Maybe connecting with a Leo, but it shows happiness. Yes, you've succeeded. This is that bird, that crow, and you're finally, you've released. You have released all of this, all of this. This is almost like a fresh start, a fresh start. You're letting go. You're detaching from all those empty relationships and empty, empty things that you attach yourself to. It doesn't always have to be a person. It could be something that you've just attached yourself to, a friend, a place, a thing, a substance, anything that just leaves you empty. But your near future shows you here. Everything is left, like you've just released. You've released all those burdens. You have a fresh start, a fresh start. Okay, my friends. I want to, I want to clarify the sun card and I want to clarify the seven of cups because the seven of cups is a block towards your outcome. The seven of cups is what's blocking this. And that's a decision options and that options doesn't always mean different people it mean could mean different places different ideas different jobs different it can mean anything but options is blocking you you're confused you're indecisive okay but you have this you've released all the burdens from the past so i'm going to go ahead and just clarify the seven of cups i want to clarify the seven of cups cups what is causing your confusion. What are your options here? Clarify the seven of cups for me, please. Because clearly the sun card in the future, you have a victory. You have a victory. You win. You have released the burdens that have been holding you back. Clarify the seven of cups for me. One more shuffle, please. Clarify the seven of cups for me. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. And 
that's teamwork right there. And we have the devil, okay? So we have decisions, decisions, page of cups, little love offerings, messages. This is what I get here, okay, my friends? You're deciding between some vices that you have. Sorry, my dogs are barking. Um, you're deciding between some vices that you have, maybe addictions, um, drinking, um, could be sex, could be just um, playing the field, okay? Being free, being a bachelor. And you have the three of pentacles, which is working together with somebody. Okay, that's another decision. So do you decide to work with somebody towards the future? Do you choose that path? But you have the Ten of Swords here, which shows defeated, defeated, backstabbed. I almost feel like you stay with the devil because every time you choose to work with somebody, and this is two, three of cups here. I mean, three of pentacles. So this is clarified here. It's matching energies. Every time you pick somebody and you choose to try and start a long-term relationship, you feel backstabbed. So you choose to walk the line with the devil, which is partying, hanging out, being single, doing fun stuff, being reckless, addictions. And that is what's blocking you. That is what's blocking you. Your fear, your fear, because in the past, every time you do choose to work with somebody, you end up backstabbed. But you have to make a choice again, my friends, because you can't, you can't lose this desire. You desire this. This is you. You desire this family this wealth, this prosperous life, this end all be all. You want it so bad, it burns. You have to choose, you have to choose, it's clear as day. I know you have felt backstabbed in the past with all these empty cups, your heart's closed off, but you've released these burdens and this shows in the near future, you'll have a new start, you'll feel refreshed. You'll feel a new beginning. You'll feel happy again. But something tells me that options are coming your way and you will have a choice to make. There could be another Virgo Capricorn Taurus coming your way. There could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. There could be a Capricorn. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? But either way, you have to make another choice coming up. And if you want that end all be all, you're gonna have to try again. You need to trust. You're going to have to try again. Or you're going to keep walking down this path with the devil. And you're going to end up continuously latching on to short-term relationships that don't fulfill you. Okay? That's with the devil. There might be fun flings, sex, alcohol. But you end up getting backstabbed or betrayed you need to make that clear decision your hopes and fears is that you let that go and you make the right decision because here the devil in reverse shows that you have released you have the devil upright here with that decision but you have external influences that are showing you now, your external influences are some people around you that are very stable. That's that three of pentacles here that I was holding. That's your external factor. So you have people around you that are more stable, that are reliable, practical, that guide you, that help you make this decision. And your hope and fear and your best course of action is to release those bad habits, those bad behaviors. Release the devil. Release the devil, my friend. Let go of this behavior. Let go of the alcohol. Let go of the flings. Be stable. Be practical. Be reliable. 
You have a fresh start here. The devil in reverse says the best course of action is to release all those negative patterns and the negative behaviors that have gotten you in trouble in the past. Your final outcome is the Four of Wands, which is a celebration. Celebration of a milestone. It could be an anniversary, birthday, wedding, party, anything with good friends. Celebration. Victory. Victory. I want to clarify your outcome. I want to clarify the Four of Wands, the outcome for my Virgo. This message is so clear. I want a clear outcome with this Four of Wands. I want a whoop, the waltz. Some things wanted to fall. I have the Queen of Wands, which could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody who's very fiery, very responsible, very passionate, very kind-hearted, wholehearted, energetic, cheerful self-assured and very attractive. This could be your four of wands, your celebration. You could meet them at an event. I get the seven of cups. Okay. Options again. Options. So you may go to an event. <laughs> you may meet your queen of wands, male, female, but you have options again, but I see an ace of wands, ace of wands, which my friends was in the beginning. Ace of wands, ace of wands is your queen of wands. I have a three of swords, which is this way would be heartbreak would be separation. This way says there's not going to be a separation. There's no heartbreak here. There's no heartbreak here. The option card here, I believe is here. And it's funny, these cards just fell out. The option card here, I believe my friends, is because back here when you had the option card and I pulled out, and I'm gonna do this one more time. I pulled out the option was the devil, the ace of cups in reverse, which leaves you feeling backstabbed, right? Which left you feeling backstabbed. Or you could choose a practical person and work together towards a healthy beginning, right? Well, I believe this seven of cups came up in your outcome again to tell you that if you choose the right option and you choose to release those old bad habits, the devil in reverse, you choose the right path, you will get your queen of wands, Leo Aries Sag, they are, they are, remember in the beginning here, I had these two cards, that is the ace of wands, 10 of pentacles, that's your desire, you desire this end all be all, this is the ace of wands, just in another deck, this person that you meet at this event will not break your heart, they will commit the queen of wands, new beginning, new desire. They desire the same outcome. This card here is wedding, celebration, a milestone, birthstone. They desire the same outcome as you, my friends. That is beautiful. I don't think we need to go any further because I think these all clarified themselves. It was a clear, clear message, my Virgos. Please leave comments down below. Let me know if this resonates. I love you guys. Take care.